Hello, today we're going to continue in our A-level revision series by looking at the subject of parallax, or more accurately, stellar parallax, the ability to measure the distance to nearby stars. It's important to stress that you can only do this for relatively close stars because we don't have equipment that is of sufficient accuracy for stars that are further away. Firstly, let's just consider what we mean by parallax. Parallax is a situation whereby when you're travelling along, say, in a car, the trees by the side of the road seem to whiz past you, but the mountains in the distance barely seem to move at all. Let's imagine that this is a road, this is a tree, and these are the mountains far away. And on top of the mountain, there is a television transmitter. Now, when you're here, the tree is there, and the television transmitter, didn't draw that very straight, is there. In other words, when you look out of the car window, the transmitter is to the left of the tree. But by the time you travel down the road here, then the tree is such that the television transmitter is to the right of the tree. And it looks as though the tree has whizzed past but the television transmitter has pretty much stayed where it is. Now we use exactly the same method to measure the distance to nearby stars by comparing their position in the sky with galaxies which are so far away that their position hardly seems to move at all. So how are we going to do that? Well, here's the sun and here's a nearby star. And I should explain that I haven't drawn this to scale because the nearest star is a long way away. Here is the Earth. Let's say that's the Earth in March. Six months later, the Earth will have travelled halfway round its orbit around the Sun, and it will be here. And we can measure, or it is possible to measure, the angle of that star compared with a fixed point in space, which is way out here somewhere, that doesn't seem to move at all. And we can measure that angle, call it theta, and then when we get to the other side, we can measure that angle, which is theta. And what does that look like from Earth's position? Well, when you think about it, that's overhead, that's the fixed position of the galaxies way above us. When the Earth is here in March, then the star appears to be at that angle there. When the Earth is here six months later in September, then the star appears to be off at that angle there. And it's measuring those two angles that will enable us to calculate how far the star is away. What do we actually see up in the night sky? Well, let's assume that we're looking up into the night sky this point is directly overhead and all around the sky will be galaxies that for all intents and purposes are fixed and unchanging. Now of course you have to recognise that the Earth is spinning on its own axis and it's going round the Sun and that will make these stars look as though they're moving across the sky. What you have to do is to make sure that you are for both March and September in such a position that the sky looks exactly the same as far as the distant stars are concerned. So get yourself into a position where that is the pattern in the sky, both in March and September. And now look at that nearby star. And what will you find? You will find that in March, it will be here. And in September, it will appear to be here. There will be an angular shift compared with the rest of the background in exactly the same way as there was on my other diagram an angular shift of the tree compared to the mountains in the background. So now how are we going to work out the distance to the nearest star? Well let's just draw that line in there and draw this line here. We know the distance from the Earth to the Sun, that is one astronomical unit. 
and one astronomical unit is very approximately 93 million miles. And we know this angle here. This angle is simply 90 degrees minus theta. Theta is the angle we measured here. And this is a right angle. And so we can say that the tangent of this angle here, which is 90 minus theta, is equal to this distance here, which we'll call capital D, that is the distance from the our sun to the nearest star, divided by that distance there, which we'll call little d, which is the distance from the Earth to the Sun, which we know is one astronomical unit, one, which is 93 million miles. Tangent is always opposite over adjacent. So the tangent of that angle is capital D over little d. Tangent of 90 minus theta is d over d. And that means that d, which is what we want, is little d, which we know, times the tangent of 90 minus theta. And theta was the angle which we measured. And now here's the reason why this method is very difficult and requires very precise measurement. The distance to the nearest star is about 26 billion miles. And that means that d over d, sorry I got that the wrong way around, capital D over d, which is here, is equal to this angle. And if you put 26 billion divided by 93 million, you will find that the tangent is such that the angle theta is of the order of one arc second. And that's a very, very small angle. There are 360 degrees in a circle. If you go all the way around, that's 360 degrees. One degree is 60 minutes or arc minutes. One arc minute is 60 arc seconds. So one degree is 3,600 arc seconds. And what we are saying is that the angle that we measure is about one arc second, which is about one 3,600th of a degree. Astronomers came up with a new unit of measurement. They said that when the angle theta is exactly equal to one arc second, then the distance d is what they called one par sec. And that is very roughly equal to 3.46 light years, which is also equal to approximately 206,000 astronomical units. What that means is that if I were drawing this to scale, then if that is one astronomical unit, that distance to scale ought to be 206,000 times this here. And that shows you why that angle is going to be very, very small. And at the moment, we can only measure using equipment that we have to about a megaparsec. So it's really only the nearby stars that we can work out this distance. And that is the mechanism for measuring the distance to, ne to nearby stars by using the process called stellar parallax.